everyone to your new moon reading for August. Uh, this new moon will take place August 16th. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you and how this is going to affect everyone over here. Um, this new moon will affect mostly Leo and Taurus for the biggest part of, you know, the majority of how the feelings are going and the energy is really picking up. Okay, so... So if you have Leo rising, Taurus rising, you're going to also be affected, and especially if it's in your moon, okay? So, as well as your regular sun sign. Okay, so this is a time where it's going to bring in kind of an emotional roller coaster within your mind, body, and spirit. So guys, make sure that you are, you know, trying to keep as balanced as possible. But I love the cards that are down over here because it is talking about this new start coming because we do have the full moon and it does. It cleans the slate. It wipes things away. And it's talking, this is the new moon. And so this new start is on the horizon. So it is time to manifest. It is time to get those um, things that you no longer want in your life you know, start cleaning out your space, doing the, those kind of things. Um, this is also going to ask you to be authentic in your actions, beliefs, and what your intentions are. Okay, so making sure that you're really paying full attention at this time to really ignite what it is you truly want, my friends. Um, right, so as we have this beautiful new moon, uh, let's see, the energy is gaining momentum so whatever it is that you've already been manifesting, everything that you've already been doing, putting in all those intentions, it's already starting to show momentum. You might even start feeling the change around you or even start seeing things, you know, changing um, as the new moon is coming around. Um, and that's going to be felt, obviously, within your emotions and, you know, maybe even your mental a little bit. Um Okay, so, but it's also encouraging you to enjoy simple pleasures within your life, right? Always make sure that you're enjoying life as prosperity is laying, you know, is laying before you. So this card is prosperity lies ahead, the new moon in Taurus. Um, we have the cellular gateway activation, infinite potential manifestation vortex. And this is saying this is the time once again to manifest when we're manifesting we're like crazy manifestors this month okay because remember we're going to manifest again with the super moon the, right that's the blue moon at the end of the month guys so make sure that you are hitting all these portals we just went through the lion's gate you know i mean we we're going crazy over here manifesting um um time to reflect on what it is that you truly want Right. Making sure that, you know, if there was something that I felt I maybe I didn't manifest it right. Maybe I've changed my mind a little bit on how I, you know, how I want something. Maybe I thought I needed, you know, extra 150 bucks, but it comes out that I need two hundred dollars. You know, however it is, this is the time to settle the scores kind of within yourself and reset because you have a reset. This is kind of like the reset button. It's OK. Right. And it's not that the universe didn't already hear your manifestations. They already know what you want. But if you need to change anything up, now is the time um, to do so as the clean slate is coming. So it's time to create. Use your patterns. Do what you need to do. Right. So here we go. It's like, here we go. For your commitments, whether it's love, whatever you're committed to. And you're going to feel the energy gaining momentum in those things that you're committing yourself to. Putting in those extra hours at work. You know, putting in that extra love and attention to yourself. You know, uh, putting in the extra love and attention to family members. You know, or to yourself because you want new love. Right? You want new love, put the love out there so that you can get the love back. Be expressive. Do what you need to do. Right? Um, because you have the ultimate change is coming. And you, like I said, a lot of you probably can feel this change. Something vibrationally is going on, right? There's something in the air. So I do have my manifestation cards too. So we want to make sure that we use those. I'll use them on this side. Um, so that way we can get into that as well. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on over here. What do you have that is going on? Yeah. 
There's the endings. Letting go of what no longer serves you. A lot of you are going through a trans, you know, transformational period within your life, right? You're waiting for this transition. You're waiting for these things to come through. A lot of you are even waiting for those karmic rewards to come through, saying, I've been on this journey. I've been manifesting. I'm doing everything I want. For those of you who have not been doing so, now is the time to start manifesting those dreams, going after what it is you want, putting in that extra action, um, you know, and that extra attention. Like I said before, being more expressive of what it is you really want to co-create, right? Time to seek your truth. Go inside. There's a reflection. Go inside. See what it is that I need, you know, whether you're soul searching or just looking for all the, you know, as many answers as possible. You'll never find all the answers. Um, but looking for as many answers as possible. Meditating on the situation. Going in to meditate for manifestation, right? Um, but it is a good time to start doing your rituals, um, right? Doing your cleanse your space, let go of negative energy, people around you who, you know, you no longer serve you. Um, I want new love. You're holding on to your ex's colognes. He's still got clothes in the closet. Throw those things away. Make room for the new. You know, that's showing the universe that you're ready for something new, for somebody else to take that person's place, right? Out with the old, in with the new. One door closes, another one opens. Yes, it's Judgment Day. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Listening to the inner calling of what it is you want. Right? Day of reckoning, the awakening. Awakening yourself for the new phase. You have this new phase because, remember, a new moon brings in a new cycle. Okay, so, yes, and everything is justified for your change. Using your law and attraction. Using what it is you truly want. Justifying yourself for your own fairness. Be fair to yourself. You want it, be fair to yourself. Go get it, right? Because this is it. You know? Until we start another new moon again. <laughs> right? It's never it's never 100% over. It's just this is it for, for this week, right? Um, remember, guys, you manifest every day of your life. Okay? I mean, seriously. Every time you say, man, I wish I had that. Oh, boy, I wish I had that. Oh, boy, I wish I had something like that. You're manifesting. Okay? Express your emotions with your truths and don't forget to accept those of others around you. Right? <clears throat> it's like you want love. Make sure you're giving back the love. It's the give and take scenario. You know, and make sure to always give yourself the love as what? Well. Yeah, thank you. Six of Pentacles. Wow. Talk about that right there. Yeah, the give and receive. And make sure you're always open to receive. The universe says it's time for your prosperity lies ahead. It's already right there, guys. A lot of you have been manifesting this for months and months and months on end. Even if you start at the beginning of the month, it is time. Okay? It is time. So do not be closed-minded. Let's go get our dreams. Keep your hope, your faith going. You have good fortune that's coming in. Okay? One way or another, from the smallest ladybug to the biggest, you know, house on the planet, right? Biggest factory. One way or another, you're getting something, something that is coming in, right? Just keep contributing, right, yourself to your dreams and trust. Trust in the magic. Trust in the universe. You guys are the imprints. There is abundance on its way. It could take a little longer. Doesn't mean that I manifest it today and it'll be here on the 18th, right? Because the new moon's on the 16th. No, it means that it could come somewhere between now and Libra season or Taurus season, right? Depending on what you're manifesting. Bigger the manifestation, you know, manif man manifestation, geez, if I can get that out, uh, the bigger the tests and trials, right? If you're just something small, there might not even be any tests and trials. You just get it. Right? But be unbiased to your own self and your own judgment. Right? And that just means believe and trust within yourself. And don't be too judgmental on yourself. Right? Use your intuition. You guys got this. And then you will receive your manifestations. Look at that. A lot of you are getting so many manifestations that are coming in pretty quick now. The others of you, you might be waiting, like I said, for a little while. Because you're just now starting. Those of you, like I said, who've been doing this a while, they're definitely, you already have the seeds planted. You're ready to rock and roll. You're just waiting, and here it comes. Oh, boy. A lot of you are going to get this. 
at that blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Yep, Ten of Cups. And some of you, like I said, are going to get it after the blue moon. Yep, thank you. Ace of Pentacles, however you want to see it. It's yes, for the blessings. Some of it's new love. Oh, some of it's career. I got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So be rested, be relaxed, be ready to receive. Universe is ready. It's rocking. It's ready to go. It's just waiting on you. <clears throat> right? It's ready and waiting on you. So let's get some in, <clears throat> some manifestation cards over here, guys. Love these cards. These are the art of manifestation. Okay? So let's see what's going on. I'm actually going to... Let's see. Break this deck up a little bit. Ooh. They're really stiff. They're a really stiff deck. Okay. It's big. You already see that. If that comes up again, that won't be surprising. Okay. Best message, please. And watch your dreams. Please watch your dreams. Now is the time for a dream journal, especially if you're having a lot of vivid dreams. It is time for you to feel your independence. Yes. I'll read this card to you guys, okay? Independence is a wonderful attribute. But if taken to an extreme, it can border on isolation. Yeah, be careful. That was Virgo. Hermit mode over here. Sometimes if we have been hurt or let down or trapped in a codependent relationship, we lose faith in others and learn only to rely on ourselves. This card calls you to question this inner belief and develop healthy inner, yeah, interdependent relationships with an equality of both giving and receiving. And you got the giving and the receiving and the hermit. Look at that. Going after your independence. And you also have... The Queen of Wand, uh, Swords, excuse me, which is also talking about that independence. So very beautiful. Next card, please, coming out. Boy, you go get what we want. Let's do it. We're allowed to do it. You're the you're birthing your own creation. Right? You're a co-creator. Universe is the creator, you co-create. Ooh, release negative habits, 44. You guys are seeing the numbers 44 or 24 or twos and fours. This is what Spirit's trying to tell you. We all form habits and patterns in our lives, whether in thought or in action. But like a pair of comfortable old slippers, there comes a time when they outgrow their value to us and we must let them go. Do something different today that shakes you out of your usual ways of responding and have fun doing so. Okay. Changing things up. Next card for this beautiful new moon. Getting different cards compared to what we had on this other that other moon. I love it. Authenticity. Be yourself. Oh, I like that because that's what we were talking about before. It's time for you to you know, do what you need to do. Two again. Wow. You guys are going to see a lot of twos and fours. Maybe even a five over here for the change. <clears throat> Hold your head up high. Walk tall and be your authentic self. This card asks you to shed the masks that you believed you were required to wear. Walk to the beat of your own drum and do not be afraid to shine. In doing so, you give others permission to do the same. Well, there you go. And we'll grab one more. One more. Most important. Most, most important. I mean, all those are already really important. Oh, here it comes. Allow yourself to receive. Oh, my God, I said that. That is the most important piece. It really is. Because when you ask the universe for something, you want to hold your hands out. You want to say, I receive this. It kind of reminds me of like, um, of like when you're in church, right? And you... Come on, we've all seen it, you know, and they got their hands up as they're singing and they're dancing and they're doing things. They have their hands up in the air like this. They're receiving the blessings from the universe as they are singing, right? Their hands are wide open and that's exactly it. You can, you know, do this or however it is. Receive with your palms open. That's telling you, I'm not holding a tight fist. Can you get anything in there? No, but now you can. 
okay? So most important of it all is we are manifesting. We want these good things to come. You want it. Make sure that you're receiving it. And that also reminds me of that judgment, being biased to yourself. Do not, you know, be biased towards your, um, your own manifestation. Right. It says one of the greatest blocks in our ability to manifest our greatest desire is the inability to allow ourselves to receive. This card asks that you take some time to identify any inner beliefs, perceptions and attitudes that stop you from receiving and one by one remove these resistance. And that's exactly what it is. Majority of everybody is a giver. OK, you guys are givers. I want to give everything. But if I try to give you something back, oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Okay, but if I don't give to give you back, then how is the whole karma thing going to work? It's a circle. Give and receive is a circle. And it makes a beautiful karmatic snake eating its tail, right, infinite sign. I mean, if you see it, it's like the snake eating his own tail. It goes round and round and round and round. Okay, and when the universe says, you ask me for something, but you're not letting me give it to you. Oh, I'm not good enough. I can't have that. Okay, you're not good enough. You can't have that. Guess what? You're not going to get it. Just forget it. All right? Or it's going to take you forever to get it. So the biggest thing you can do is when you want something, make sure that you're allowing yourself to receive it. Because I know you guys, you guys are out there giving prayers. I pray that you are doing good today. I pray that they are healthy. I pray they're healthy. Well, I'm going to tell you I pray you're healthy. That's very nice. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Okay. And then you're going to take it. But there are other things that you're just never going to take. Right? And the universe is saying, you want this, but then when I tell you you can have it, you're like, oh, I don't know. It's a wild dream. Yeah, it's a wild dream. That's what manifestations are. They're wild dreams. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole point. And some of you are going for new love. I just want you to know that because that's definitely um, at the bottom of the deck. So this energy of new love is around you. Sometimes if we had been hurt within relationship, we retreat. We're afraid of being hurt again. This card brings a clear message and is an indication of your readiness to embrace love and begin a new relationship. It is safe to reach out. It is safe to have love. It is safe to Love again. Okay. Wow. Beautiful messages, my friends. Beautiful. Okay. So, angels want you to know what the angel message is. Beautiful, beautiful reading. For this new moon. Tell our friends. Best messages. Oh, what do we got? Opportunity is at hand. There it is. Okay. Time. Look for your signs. There's your signs and synchronicities. We have three, six equals nine. We have a one. We have twos and fours and the five. So you guys see seeing those signs and synchronicities. Also look for animal signs and synchronicities. Let go of what no longer serves you. Watch those dreams, like I said before, as well, because in your near future, your opportunity is coming. Okay, so ask your angels for what it is you truly want. Ask the universe, right, what you want. Okay, and when you're done, you know, make sure that you do your gratitude. Oh, I didn't grab the gratitude cards. I will get those. Make sure that you're asking for the gratitude. Have to have that gratitude to go along with it because we want the universe to know that we're also already grateful for everything that I already have. So when you're grateful, they want to give you more. So best messages, please, or gratitude. Okay. For this beautiful new moon. Ooh, what do we got? I am grateful that everything is working out for my highest good. That's a great one for you guys. 
I am full of positive, loving energy. You guys can write these down. You can even write them down in the comments because it will then go to your subconscious and you can remember them. Your subconscious will remember them. Okay. I forgive myself and set myself free. And I am a grateful to be alive. Whoa, we got two here. I am grateful to be alive. And yes. I deserve to be healthy and feel good. And those are just great ones, right? There's, you have so many others. You can just make up your own. I am thankful for the money that I already have, but I would like to, you know what I mean? And then you write down what you want to manifest. But I would like to have more money. I am also already grateful for what I have. I am grateful for the love that I get from my family members, my friends and everything, but I would like to have new love. I would like to have a new true love, right? And I'm loving to myself and I love myself, right? So those are great things. I can stand on my power all day long, right? I am powerful. I am strong. Those are the things, you know, and when the universe sees that you're grateful for these things, of course they want to give you more, just like you give your children, right? Mom, thanks for the lollipop. Hey, you think for Christmas maybe I could have a, you know, that Tonka trunk, you know, and you're like, the Tonka trunk? Well, probably because you always tell me thank you. And you're always so grateful for your lollipops and for the small things in life. I think you probably have the Tonka truck. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's the universe treats you just like a parent. Okay. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love and good luck on this manifestation. And wait for these dreams to come true. You got a beautiful reading. Until next time. Bye-bye.